These are the Marvin commands, guys. Marvin clean, Marvin compile, Marvin test, Marvin package, and Marvin install. So as I told you, in Git, we used to uh, refer uh, every command used to start with a Git. Am I right? Git clean, Git push, Git pull. Am I right? Same way here also, all command will almost start with a MVN. Okay? And these are the all commands in your Marvin. These are the only five or six commands are there. Okay? You have to remember only this command to complete your task. Okay, so MVN clean command, what this command will do, it will clean your target folder. Okay, so whenever you are executing project, a jar file or var file or er file will be created. Okay, but when you update the file, what will happen? Second time when you execute, first of all, we need to uh, delete the existing jar file. Am I right? So existing jar file will be deleted with the help of MVN clean command. Okay, so whenever we want to run the project first of all we need to clean the target folder okay we need to delete the target folder and the deletion of target folder folder will be done with the help of mvn clean command okay this command will delete your target folder and uh, in the target folder we will have a jar file var file so that all compressed file first we will delete and then we will start the execution mvl compile it will compile the code MVN test, it will compile the test related code. Then MVN package will again generate the var file, jar file. And then MVN install, uh, what it will do? It will install the dependency into the local repository. Okay, these are the all commands. Okay, this is the structure for the project. I will show you POM file. Don't worry about this. Marvin lifecycle, I have already explained. These are the default lifecycle phases dependency now see whenever you want to add any dependency consider here we have a j unit dependency okay so j unit dependency uh, how we can we can add the dependency the thing is that this dependency will be called as an element of your xml file okay element of your xml file let me instead of here let me share the vs code there we can explain better So I think so my screen is visible. This is your this is my VS code. Okay, let me open files. Okay. See now uh, I think so if anyone remember, these are the project that we have created yesterday. Okay. So let me close these things first of all. So do you remember yesterday we have created demo and project. Again, we will create one more project. Okay, see how we are creating. Just go to the view. Then go to the command palette. Click on that. Okay, here select a Java project. Okay, Maven is mainly used for a Java project. So select Java project. Next here, these are the all available tools okay builds gradle also builder tools marvin is also builder tool okay so from here we can select our builder tool as a marvin then it will ask for an archetype now what is mean by archetype so archetype is an template for which we have to add some input from a user to generate a marvin project okay so archetype is nothing but empty template okay so here which archetype we have to select now so if you see carefully, what are the archetype available? Marvin archetype quick start, Marvin quick start JDK 8, then Marvin react JS blank archetype, okay. Marvin archetype web. These are all archetype available, but which one we have to choose? How you will understand? 
so based on your requirement you can choose for example now if i want to create a simple marvin project i will go with a quick start if i want to uh, go with a jdk a, jdk 8 based marvin project i can choose this one if i want to choose react js project i can choose this third one you can see marvin react js then if i want to go with a web app not a standalone okay application can be created with application okay standalone application uh, web based application and then uh, enterprise edition okay three types of applications we can create standalone that is nothing but desktop and then web based application uh, and third one is the enterprise edition application okay so if i want to go with a web based application i will choose this archetype marvin archetype web app you can see okay then if we have a spring boot what it mean by spring boot it is a java based framework okay so if you want to go with a spring boot application we can select this archetype then next uh, we have a mvc okay mvc is a model actually mvc model if you have a mvc project you can choose this one okay so many examples are available now i will go as we are on the basic level i will go with a simple marvin so you can go with a quick start let me click on the quick start and select version these are the marvin versions okay we will not go with any alpha version we will go with a stable version okay so 1.4 i will choose the recent one that is the 1.4 okay let me click on this now what is here asking it is asking your group id what i told you about group id so it can be your organization name it can be your organization name so here i will write form dot our organization name i will write as the dviti okay com dot dviti see remember states okay you have to create maven project as an your first maven assignment com dot dviti then enter now next after entering what it will ask you it will ask you to enter your project name now demo 1 2 3 already i have i will go with a demo 4 okay so demo 4 i have chosen enter it will ask you the destination location where you want to save. I want to save in this Marvin project folder itself. So let me select this same. It is generating. It will take some second, 20, 30 seconds. Okay, so you can see a demo for Marvin project will get created. Okay, here it is showing group ID com dot with the artifact ID is a project name that is the demo for version is define some value. I will give 1.0 first version. Okay, so enter. So you can see demo 4 got created. Now under this, we have only one folder that is the source folder and the form.xml file. Okay. Form.xml file is the by default generated and the source folder. Now, what about target folder? Are you able to see target folder? It is not there, but in the PPT itself, I told you that there will be source folder, target folder. So after executing Marvin command, the target folder will get generated. Okay, initially it won't be there. After executing your Marvin command, target folder will be generated. Okay, so now it is not there. Let me go to this. Let me open form.xml file. Yeah. This is the form.xml file. So first of all, what is it is showing? XML version. Okay. XML version. It is not showing project version. It is an XML version 1.0 and encoding UTF-8. Okay. This not your, uh, this is not, no need to remember this thing. These are the default things. Okay. So just ignore it. 
okay so you can see project uh, then model version is 4.0.0 these all are default generated code so you just ignore three lines okay these four lines are uh, will be automatically generated for every project this will give information about your xml and the uh, maven versions okay so these are the default generated no need to bother about it next uh, group id is nothing but your organization name uh, artifact id is your project name and the version of your project okay here also you can see the name of your project will be there demo for okay next properties here it will show the maven compiler okay 1.7 is the java compiler which is used in behind okay as i told you Ma java 1.7 will be support uh, maven 3.6 onwards okay so here 1.7 is the compiler okay java compiler which is inbuilt in a maven so these all things are default generated now next dependency this is the section where all dependency will be stored so by default the one dependency is added which is called as a j unit you can see here j unit okay and this is called as the elements in xml okay this is an xml code okay don't uh, get afraid just uh, try to understand what is this so this is an xml code okay this is called as the opening tag and this is called as the closing tag if you see carefully this is the opening tag this is the closing tag okay and in the closing tag you can see back backslash is indicating it as the closing tag you can see carefully okay so you see dependencies under dependencies element we have a dependency we have a dependency and in that dependency this is the j unit dependency specific uh, specifically so what this j unit dependency contains it contains uh, the organization that means who have developed this dependency j unit group only developed this dependency then artifact id is the name and the version of this dependency that is a 4.11 okay and scope is for the testing purpose what are the scopes available you can see compile runtime test system these are the default scope is available scope means what purpose we are using this so right now you can see carefully for the testing purpose we are using this j unit that is the reason scope is a test okay you don't uh, uh, for you no need to remember these lines these lines are available in the central maven repository let me open the central maven repository to show you these things okay first of all let me explain this uh, form.xml file then i will show you how you will get these codes okay how you will get this code dependency code okay so here you can add number of dependency here okay here you can add number of dependency so next uh, after dependency we will talk about the plugins so all plugins will be uh, kept into this build elements here opening build and if you go down you will see closing build okay you can see closing build okay these are the elements in xml now under this build what we have a we have a plugin management element and then under that plugin management we have a plugin now whatever plugins we have we will add under this plugin stack okay so now default plugins so i told you two types of plugins will be available okay built-in plugins and the reporting plugins i think so last session i have explained built-in plugins and the default plugins okay so what it means by built-in plugins so if you see carefully mvn clear clean pl plugin so it is one phase actually clean is one phase okay so to clean the folder structure we have this clean plugin then we have a resources plugin then we have a compiler plugin okay these are all inbuilt maven plugins surefire surefire will generate the test reports okay test reports will be generated with the help, with the help of this surefire plugin then jar plugin jar file will be generated with the help of this jar plugin then install plugin okay then deploy plugins so under this plugins we have a goals okay under this plugins um, we have a goals okay 
and under goals we have multiple tasks of whatever we are doing then we can see site life cycle okay in the site site life cycle we have a site plugin okay and this is the report uh, generating plugin you can see and this also comes under site life cycle so these are the all plugins available see clean life cycle have a clean plugin okay then default life cycle have a all this plugin compiler surefire okay so all three cycles life cycles uh, you can see all the three life cycle related plugins by default it is added okay so as i told you why it is called as a convention over configuration if you see uh, as a developer um, do I have written any code here this all code is automatically generated this xml code this configuration this plugins this dependency all code is automatically generated am i right so that's the reason we are calling it as a structured uh, uh, project object model and all code is automatically generated that's the reason it is called as a convention over configuration okay so this is a form.xml file now let me know is there any doubt in this file Any doubt in this file? Shall I explain you again? Okay, if you see carefully in demo four, three main important source, target, and pom.xml file. Okay, source content. Now let's see the folder structure. Source content, your main file and the test folder. Okay, under main, we will have a actual code here okay under main we have actual code here app.java here de developer will write his code and then tester tester will uh, write his code in app tester.java folder okay and after this we have a target folder now target folder we don't have anything you can see it is an empty okay why because we have not executed any maven command it am i right it is empty only now and then form.xml file. So is there any doubt in this form.xml file? See, this, this code is now automatically generated. If you are not understanding anything, then also leave it. No need to bother about too much, okay? You are not going to create this form.xml file. You just have to know uh, because whenever any log are generated, you should be able to rectify the error. So only try to understand the structure. I'm not asking you to learn this XML code and I'm not here to teach you XML code. Okay, this is not a development class. We are working about DevOps. So even, even if you are not understanding, no need to bother. What you should understand is that this is a built-in code, let it. What is the organization name? What is the project name? What is the version of the project? Is it easy to understand? Tell me now. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay, fine. Now, if someone asks you where is the dependency, are you able to identify dependency in this section? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All dependency will by default reside in here only. It can be a Selenium dependency, it can be a Java dependency, it can be a Python dependency. Any dependency, any jar file will reside under this, this folder only, these uh, elements only. Okay. Now, next about default plugin. See, as a uh, as a DevOps engineer, you don't touch to any plugin. Plugins are auto generated. Here, these are the default plugins which are available in the Maven. Okay. For our level, as a basic level, no need to add any plugins. So, plugin. So, when someone asks you, show me where is the plugin, are you able to show under this build tag? Build a plugin management plugin. And in that plugin, we will get the actual plugin. This is a one plugin. Okay. You can see this is a one plugin. This is a second plugin. Okay. See the code. And this is the opening element. This is the closing element. This is the third plugin. Are you able to get this? This is the fourth plugin. Okay. And next. This is the fifth plugin. Okay. Fine. Now, how to get this plugin and dependency? That can be a question. So, I will show you. 
Uh, now understood clear the structure of the form.xml file? Yes, madam. Yes, ma'am. Let me show you where you can get these plugins. What happened? Yeah. So, Marvin, Depo. This is the Marvin Central Repository. You can see Central Repository. Repo1.marvin.org. Okay. Now, here all plugins will be available. Let me find J unit plugin. Okay. For your understanding. You can see. So, simple. All these options are available, but we want only J unit for our basic purpose. So, you can select this. Now, if you go down, you can select the version. Okay, so I will choose the latest one where the vulnerability is not. You can see here vulnerability is available. So I will choose the basic one or the latest one. If you can go here and see, this is the plugin code. Okay. For Marvin, we have a, this thing dependency. Under dependency, this is a comment, okay, in HTML. This, uh, what you call, this is a comment in XML, okay? So, this line won't be considered. Comment means this line don't consider for execution purpose, okay? So, what is the, how we can write comment line? Uh, this uh, less than symbol, exclamatory mark, and two dots. Then, uh, the thing that we want to ignore, and then, Two dash and then greater than symbol. This is the comment line. That means we will not consider this line for execution purpose. This is the comment. Okay. Comment means uh, just information. Okay. This is just a comment. But while executing, we will not consider this line. Now here onwards, you can see dependency element. Under this dependency element, we have a group ID, artifact ID, version, and then scope. And then closing element, closing dependency. Okay. So like that, you can get all the dependency, whatever you require. Now, let me search any other dependency, Selenium, okay? Selenium will be required for the web application testing. So search here as a Selenium. Now, I want Selenium Java. Select latest one. You can see dependency, group ID, artifact ID, version, and then closing dependency. Okay, you can copy and you can paste there. Okay, simply you can copy from here. You can copy from here like this. And then you can paste it into your home.xml file. Okay. So this is the simple way to get your dependency. Okay. Other dependency like uh, we can say test ng framework. Okay. This is a framework uh, in, te in uh, testing, okay, along with Selenium we are using. So, you can see, let me search for the test ng framework also. So, select the latest version and you can check it here, okay. You can see group ID, artifact ID, version, scope and then you can copy and you can add this framework there, okay. Okay, so right now we don't require this thing, so I will not add. Okay, unnecessary. This will be downloaded in my local repository. I don't want. Okay, so but while testing, while uh, testing, these things are required. J meter is also testing purpose. Uh, then Selenium. Then again, what we have a uh, test ng framework. Uh, then report generator, HTML report. Let me make sure fire plugin is also there. See, you can see Surefire Marvin plugin, okay? You can see. Under build, we can add this now. Surefire plugin, you can see. Okay? 
So see all the dependency are available. You just have to copy and you have to paste it into your. Someone is trying to join. Let me allow them. Yeah. So you can see. Surefire plugin is also there. Right now we don't want anything. So we will not take this plugin. Let me share my screen VS code. So you can see now, these are the all plugins and dependency we are using, okay? I think so now everyone understood form.xml file. Let's execute this code now. Where the actual code is residing? I told you the actual code will be there in the source folder. So source folder, we have a app.java. Let me open this file, app.java, okay? So here this is the package on the and under this package, we have a one class. Okay, the class name is app. This is the Java code. Okay, this is the Java code. This is a main class. Okay, okay. So this is this is the, sorry. This is the main method, and this is the class. Okay, the class name is the app, and the method. This is a main method. Under this main method, we have a written println code. Okay. So what will be the output of this code? Simply hello world. Okay. System dot out dot println. We are using for a printing purpose. Okay, this line we are using for a printing purpose. So output of this uh, code will be simply hello world. Okay, so let me now compile the code with the help of a Marvin commands. Okay, so let me open the terminal. Let me clear the screen. Okay, now first of all, just see carefully, okay? Uh, let me generate error first of all, so that you can able to understand. MVN clear. Now it will give us error. Why it will give error? Not clear, MVN clean, my bad. It will give error, okay? Now, whenever such a type of errors are there, just try to read the error, okay? Always try to read the error because uh, without reading this log, you will not able to understand the uh, actual mistake, okay? So, if you see carefully here, the goal you specified requires the project to execute, but there is no form file. So, first of all, whenever you are getting such a type of error, first of all, check you are in which folder and whether the folder contains form.xml file or not, because all the Marvin command will work in the same folder, which folder contains form.xml file, okay? The folder which contains form.xml file, in the same folder only you have to execute Marvin command, just write down somewhere. Where you have to execute the Marvin command, same folder where your form.xml file is available. So if you see Marvin project is the different folder. So let me first of all move to the demo code. Let's go with the demo two, demo two. Okay. Both are same project only. Yesterday we have created demo two. Demo two is also same one actually. source target and form.xml file you can see okay here also main folder we have app.java okay this file also contain the same code because it is an auto generated thing so same code is there okay so output will be hello world so what we will do first of all so do the ls. Control S. Save the things. From here. Okay. Do the ls. So demo to contain form.xml file. So surely we can execute all Marvin command. So first of all, mvn clean. 
So if your target folder already contain any jar, var, er file, that file will be deleted with the help of mvn clean command. Okay. So every time whenever you are executing project, first the command you have to execute is the mvn clean. Okay. So you can see it is scanning for the project. And then uh, first of all, it is uh, using clean lifecycle. Okay. So you now you see here in the demo to project term, earlier target folder was available. If you see carefully here, if you do the LS, target folder was available. Now, if I do the LS, see, you will get only two, two things, home.xml file and the source folder. Why? Because whenever I'm executing when clean, target folder will be deleted. Okay, target folder will be deleted. Now, next, uh, what we have to do? We have to compile the code. So, MVN compile. So here, here your actual code will be compiled and it will check whether any errors are there or any syntax error, any semantics type of errors are available or not. It will check for the errors. And if errors are there, it will give you message or else it will uh, simply uh, compile the code and it will give you the results. So compile plugin. You can see two plugins they have used in this process. One is a, you see carefully, one is a, Compile resource plugin and then compile plugin. Okay, these are the two plugins that they have used for this compilation process. Next, we are going with the MVN test. Okay, so test related files will be executed here. So, MVN test. Okay, here unit, unit testing will be performed. So here J unit. So you can see now uh, test cases executed. Now the test cases will be available in the test folder. Let me open the test folder. You, if you see carefully, one test case is written here already. That is the default one. So <coughs> you see here now. Uh, this is the library that they have used, the uh, asset library and the JUnit library. And you can see this is the test, one test they have written, okay, at the rate test. So this is the one test and under that they have checked whether the condition is true or not, okay. So this is a test related code. I will, we will go in a detail, but not now in the next slide or next PPT, okay. So this is a test related code and the test case we have is only one. You can see here, only one test case we, we have. Okay, so only one test case we have. Uh, and you can say test cases total one, failure zero, error zero and skipped zero. Okay, so all the test cases executed and there is a no error in that okay after the test uh, uh, test phase what we have a uh, we have a package space okay so mvn package so now it will generate a jar file okay this is a java project java standalone project so it will generate a jar file Okay, now let me check the target folder. If you see target folder, there are many other files available in this. Okay, so this is the status report file, sure file, report file, then test, cl test classes are there. Then this classes is nothing but a binary. Okay, after compilation, whatever binary class file generated, that binary class file extension will be dot class. You can see here. So this is a binary code that will be used for execution. Okay, compiled code, I can say. Okay, and we have a demo 2.2.0.jar. Okay, this is a jar file which is a generated. Okay, this is a jar file which is generated. This is the actual packed code we can say. This is the artifact 
and this contain all the details about your project. This is a zipped version or we can say compressed, compressed version of your project. Okay. So dot jar. Now this jar file you can share with anyone. So this jar file hold your actual project. And this jar file you can share with anyone now. Okay. You can share on a GitHub repository. You can share with uh, uh, any QA team. You can share with any production team. So now how to execute this jar file. Okay how we can execute the jar file so let me first of all install so let me download all the dependency in my local repository so for that we have a mvn install page Okay, so I think so. It will take some time actually, I guess. Yeah, done. Okay, so let me execute the jar file now. Okay, I want to see the output. Now, this jar file you can share with anyone, you can execute from anywhere. So, let me execute this jar file. How we can execute the jar file? So, we have a command like Java hyphen jar. You can write down this command. Okay. How we can execute this project now? You can execute this project on anywhere. This jar file we have to deploy on a server. And from server, we can directly execute this file. Okay. So how we can do this now? Java hyphen jar. And then if you see carefully, this demo.java file, uh, demo2.java file is residing in the target folder. So first of all, let's go to the target folder. And in the target folder, in the target folder, what we have a demo to hyphen two point zero point char. Okay, so this file is available. So where this char file is residing, if you see carefully, it is there in the target folder. Okay, it is not available in the demo two. In the demo two, we have a target folder, and under that target folder, if you see carefully this file is generated demo 2.0 jar okay under target folder it is there so i have to give the path here of that jar file i have given path and the command to execute this jar file is a java hyphen jar okay so let me execute you can see the project got executed and the output is available here so with this single jar file you can execute this project from anywhere you can execute the project from anywhere. You can deploy on to the application server. Uh, you can deploy on the web and simply you can execute now. Okay. Not only from this terminal, but if I have this jar file, I can execute the project from anywhere. So this is nothing but a compressed version of your project. Okay. You can share with anyone and automatically the project will be executed. So hello world. Now let me create web-based project one. Okay, this is a simple standalone Java project, which is a generating jar file. Okay, let's we will see how we can generate a var file. Uh, before that, tell me, do you have any doubt? No, ma'am. Okay, uh, again, I think so. Once again, you need to go back through the video, then you will understand better. Okay. If you want, I will explain again. Or again, again, uh, this uh, web app project, you will understand better. Okay, let me create one more project. So what I will do, you know, I will go to the command palette. Okay. Uh, or else what we can do, we will create the project from terminal. Okay, let me close all the files. Now, this code is available online actually. If you don't have this VS code, how you can create Maven project? See, uh, when you are working with uh, uh, this uh, Ubuntu EC2 installation, you don't have this uh, Ubuntu uh, VS code GUI. 
to road how you can how you can read my project so this is the alternate way we can say uh, just write down the command if you want right here mv mv and arc type mv and arc type colon generate I can D. I have to give group ID. Group ID, we will give form dot with the same we will give, okay? Organization name. Space hyphen D artifact ID. Artifact ID. An artifact ID will be some web app, okay? I will write it as a demo web app. Okay, demo web app and then uh, archetype. Okay, archetype we have to give so hyphen D artifact ID is equal to let me check the spelling well. And now here archetype we will give as the web app okay marvin hyphen archetype okay instead of quick start earlier we have chosen quick start here we will choose archetype as a web app okay so this is a web app template and we want to do all this operation in a detached mode okay so we will write interactive mode as a fault and enter so interactive mode i will keep it as a fault Yeah, you can see the web app project. Now here project, uh, folder structure will be little different. Okay. Why? Because this is a web app. So here we will get the static pages and the static pages will be available into this. Oh, why it is... Uh... Demo web app. And what is archetype we have chosen here? Let me check once. Let me check the archive for web app. Marvin. Archetype web app, web app, where is that? Marvin, archetype web app, same only we have given. Let me create one more project. demo web app 2 okay demo web app or demo app 2 demo app 2 It is asking for the destination location. I will keep the same. Yeah. 
yeah demo arc type way back same only we have to do now Still, it is creating. Wait a while, dear. So it is asking for a version one point zero. So demo, yeah, same only I guess. No, no. So here I guess uh, I gave some wrong command. So the folder structure for a web app should be like this, okay? Source main and then web apps and under that index dot jsp. Here you will store your all static pages, okay? If I open here, this is an HTML code, okay? This is an HTML code which contains uh, HTML tag, body, and the head. Uh, we can say heading okay h2 is the heading so this is an html code and which is also printing hello world okay again it will also have a source of target and the form.xml file okay so let me execute this code so let me go to the demo app to demo app to let's check home.xml file is there mvn clean same commands are there but this web app will generate var file okay mvn compile So always remember every time no need to use install and the deploy and the install deploy and test okay three main commands are there clean compile and package okay clean compile and package other command uh, first time when you are executing the project you can uh, execute that all commands second time onwards uh, no need to execute all the commands okay so mvn compile i will directly execute then mvn package okay now you you will see the target folder with some details So if you see web app for two folder uh, in that in this folder target folder created and in this target folder, if you see carefully, demo app to dot var, var file is generated here. Okay, var file is generated here. So this var file you can share with others, you can deploy on the uh, Tomcat server and we can execute. So in tomorrow's session, I will show you how we can deploy this var file on a Tomcat server and how we can install Tomcat server, how we can deploy var file on the Tomcat server and how we can execute application in actual server, okay? This part we will see in the tomorrow session. Right now, uh, we will stop here. But before that, uh, just tell me, are you clear with creation of web app and simple Java application? Yes, These things are clear, how we can create web app and how we can create sim simple Java application? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. yeah, so just try these two things uh, today. Tomorrow, we will see how we can uh, share this var file how we can deploy this var file on a Tomcat server and how we can execute actual project on the server, okay? So now I will stop here. Uh, so Marvin, Marvin and Tomcat are different, right? Sorry? 
Marvin and Tomcat are different, right? I didn't get your right. Pardon me? Ma Marvin and Tomcat are completely different from each other, right? Yeah, both are completely. Tomcat is the server, application server. Okay. What yeah. server will do? It will respond to the client's request. Okay. Huh. Server huh. can store the application and whenever client requests for application or web pages, the request will go to the server. Server will get that pages and it will display to the client. Okay. And Marvin is just a project. We just execute the command and Marvin has always dependency on uh, Tomcat uh, server, right? Yeah. Okay. So Tomcat is a separate server and we will deploy our application on the Tomcat server separately, not the not with the help of Marvin command. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So totally Tomcat server is totally different. Now they are not linked with each other. Tomorrow what we will do, we will separately install Tomcat server and uh, then this file, the var file which is uh, generated here, this var file we will move to the Tomcat server by copy paste or uh, by sharing things, okay? And then we can uh, run our this project on the Tomcat server. Same project we will run on the Tomcat server, okay? So same output we are getting here now, hello world. The same output we will get on the Tomcat server, okay? Let's, do, uh, let's don't get confused. What is the Tomcat server? I will prepare three, four neatly PPTs and I will explain you tomorrow in detail about Tomcat server, okay? okay. What are the other types of servers are there? How we can use these servers? So what, is the, what are the different servers available, okay? All the details regarding servers we will see in tomorrow's session. Before that, first of all, tell me, do you have any doubt in the Maven project creation? And two ways we have seen Marvin project creation uh, and uh, two types of Marvin project we have created here. One is the Java standalone application and other one is the web application. Okay. And if you are not clear with the web application and standalone application, I will explain that thing also in tomorrow's session. Are you clear what is a web app? Mm, yeah. Everyone, please respond. If you have simple doubt also, you can ask me, no problem. No one is judging here. If you don't know anything also, if you didn't understand anything also, you can tell me. Yes, ma'am, understand. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we'll see yes, or we'll meet in the tomorrow session. Okay. Tomorrow I will explain about Tomcat server. First of all, for your understanding purpose, actually, which is not uh, required for us, but we will see. How, uh, what is the Tomcat server? How to install Tomcat server? And uh, yeah, did I share you Marvin installation? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, no problem. Then Marvin, you can install and uh, you just try these things, okay? So fine, everyone. So we'll meet in the tomorrow session. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye, ma'am. Bye.